Hi ladies and gentlemen, now you know it's almost time for Christmas, it's the end of the year. It's time to take a breather and to relax a little. So with that, I'm going to introduce to you the Sailor Cocktail Series Angel's Delight. Focus. And just to get some introductions out of the way, my name is Kenneth and welcome to the NAR channel. Now today, as mentioned earlier, we're talking about the Sailor Pro Gear 21K in medium fine. Uh, from the cocktail series, this is the Angel's Delight. So the Angel's Delight, as the name implies, it's a cocktail. Now it is actually made out of cream, gin, triple sack and of course grenadine syrup which lends its colour on the body of the pen. So yes, the pen is an amalgamation of all the ingredients on uh, the Angel's Delight cocktail. And with this pen, as you can see, the trim is actually rhodium in colour. Now let me unscrew the pen. It takes about... Let me count how many turns are right. So this is one. This is one turn. It's still not out yet. Two turn. It's still not out yet. Two two and one quarters turn to actually remove the cap. Now on the inside, the nib is the 21K Sailor Pro Gear uh, nib. It shares the same nib as the 1911 Large. Now on the Pro Gear, on this pen in particular, the nib is actually in rhodium trim and the scroll work is done in gold, plated in gold rather. It has a very nice plastic feed. I find the section, you know, there is a bit of a flare on this section. Uh, it's not very, it's not a very big flare. It's, it's still, it's basically quite tapered. Lah. So on top of that, there is threads at the back of the, of the section. So although the, the threads are there, it's actually never really sharp. It actually feels very nice to just hold. And I think the balance of the pen, it's, it's actually very well, well done. One more thing to know about this pen is that it actually does post quite securely and actually it doesn't back weigh the pen too much. It actually, it actually feels very well balanced. I don't really post uh, post the cap on my pens because I don't really like how it scratches up pens and all so I just leave it the way it is. And with that, uh, I'm just gonna take apart the pen just to show you what kind of filling system it has. So taking apart the pen, on the inside is a cartridge converter. So this is the proprietary uh, Sailor converter. It doesn't hold a lot of ink, but for the Pro Gear or the 1911 Large, it actually works very, very well. And with that, oh, just one more, th one more thing to note is that um, I bought this pen with my own money. I wasn't sponsored by Sailor, but if Sailor, if you're listening and you want to sponsor me with your pens, I really, uh, would appreciate it a lot if you do so but if not it's okay i will just enjoy using your pens to the best of my ability i really do like it a lot and i use it quite often maybe mm, twice a week since i rotate my rotate, uh, a collection anyways and yeah uh one more thing if you really like this channel and the content i'm putting out please uh like and subscribe follow and press the bell icon so you get notified of the things that i'm doing so i am actually doing some pen reviews and also some reviews on some audio gear and that is all right. now i'm moving on to the writing sample let's meet let me start by writing the name of the pen this is the sailor Pro Gear 21K in medium fine. This is part of the cocktail series. And of course, this is the Angel's Delight. Pink today to match the pen would be Sailor. Shikiori uh, Okuyama. And with that, let me start by writing uh, my favorite quote. You are exactly where you need to be. So as you can see, this pen is actually uh, quite a wet writing pen. Let me just give you some lines so that you can gauge how wet this pen is actually. So if I'm just going to use no pressure, and with increasing pressure, more, and this is actually the max I'll go with this pen, you can actually see that there is a bit of line variation. Now, this pen, although it's uh, demarcated as a HMF, the H actually denotes a hard, but it's actually not really hard. It's actually quite bouncy. And if I do horizontal strokes, no pressure, 
medium more than medium more pressure it is actually uh, it, it doesn't change as much as the down strokes and I'm just gonna do the swirly bits without any pressure and next I'm gonna do the swirly bits with a bit of pressure so if you can see any difference now there is one thing about this pen that I would like to let everybody know is that um, there is actually a bit of feedback as you probably heard when I'm writing this this bit of stuff um, there's a bit of sound on the paper so is the nib smooth yes the nib is actually very smooth but that little bit of feedback makes it feels like you're writing with a pencil it's not totally devoid of any tactile feedback and it, it's it is actually something I really enjoy with this pen. I think uh, comparing it with its competition, I think this compares to the Pilot Custom 823. The 823, it's a smoother knit, but um, it doesn't have that kind of tactile feedback that the Sailor actually provides. Comparing it with the 3776 that appeared on the last Fountain Pen review that I did, the 3776 actually um, has a lot of feedback also partially because that um, the nib is actually very very hard so any bits and bumps on the paper you actually do feel it the sailor because it's bouncy it's actually a bit more nuanced and i really do enjoy this uh, i think this pen will suit anybody who is looking for a great day-to-day -day writer and you know honestly the nib is so well tuned that i don't think it will fail you if you don't destroy it so i think it's quite a good pen and also just to give you guys a perspective this is just some pens uh, for some size comparison so this is the pro gear uh 21k next would be the uh, platinum 3776 from last week so as you can see the platinum 3776 is actually a bit longer than the pro gear 21k although the Pro Gear 21K is a bit girthier. And let me switch it up with the Pilot Custom 823 next. So as you can see, the Pilot Custom 823 is actually quite a bit bigger than the Pro Gear 21K. Uh, all of these pens are very well balanced, so they all make equally great writers. I can't really fault one over the other. Um, but if you really want to differentiate, I think the nib, the nib feel, feel of all of these pens are quite different. Uh, with the Sailor 21K being soft, bouncy, uh, but it's actually a hard nib, so it's not a flex nib, so please don't flex it. Um, the Platinum 3776, the nib is actually um, very stiff, and there is a lot of feedback on the 3776. The Pilot Custom 823's nib is actually, well, there is a bit of bounce, but generally the nib is very very smooth and you don't get much feedback like the Sailor. Um, well, which is best? Only you know. For me, I have a clear favourite but I'm not going to share uh, which is my favourite with you guys because I think this decision should be made uh, by yourself when you do try them. But if you really want uh, some sort of idea how do they write, uh, think of it like the Platinum 3776 is a hard pencil the Sailor, the Sailor Pro Gear is like a pencil that is slightly blunt you still feel it and the uh, Pilot Custom 823 has a really really smooth uh, pen so yeah and with that let's move on to the conclusion and in conclusion this is the Sailor Pro Gear 21K uh, Cocktail Series Angels Delight uh, limited edition pen for 2019 I really do like this pen, um, it is a very well balanced pen, it, basically I don't think I really fault it too much, it really is quite amazing, the balance is great, the inflow is great, the nib, uh, Sailor's nibs are very special, I really do enjoy them a bit, um, it's tactile, it has a tactile feel and it flows real nice, inflow is great, and you know, there is a bit of bounce, there is really nothing much I could ask for, maybe for a king, except for a king of pen, I really like the king of pen which I have and maybe I should do a review on it soon um, yeah besides that it compares very well uh, if you do not need a big ink capacity and you like to change your inks often I think this is a very good consideration uh, but some other competitions to this would be the Pilot Custom 823 that is a that is a back filler and the nib fill is also very different but you know they can be quite comparable it is also a slightly bigger pen and you know if you want an alternative to this, I would consider the Pilot Custom 823 or 743. 
and with that this is Kenneth from the NER channel thank you so much for joining me I hope you enjoyed uh, your time if there is anything more that I can do or if there is any pen that you would like to uh, have some experience on and if I do have them I would uh, you know review them of course uh, just let me know what you feel like uh, watching out for and maybe I if I have I'll just do it thank you very much hope to catch you very soon